Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Nomads. I'm the Radio Man 3 It is awesome to have you along. Got Mark over here without any problems. Didn't decide to record it because it was really uneventful. Just drove straight over here and had no issues whatsoever. Uh, he rolled over here no problem. Uh, land all the way. A uh, little bit lumpy bumpy here and there. But other than that, we didn't have any problems at all getting to the new base location. And I'm excited about it because we've got some pretty cool stuff we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got the roof started. We need the stasis chamber. That's one of the first things we need. So I'm going to go to build and I'm going to start off with the bio generator again. Uh, just to kind of start off with that. And there's the stasis chamber. I was going to use the nuclear one. Uh, but I decided not to at this point in time, but I do want a stasis chamber up and running uh, Because we're gonna have to sleep here pretty quick and get our energy back. Let's go ahead and do it right there just like So I'll show you what blocks I'm using in here uh, electronic parts and what? Electronic parts. Oh, I forgot to grab those off of uh, Mark over here. I got him parked up here underneath the trees I've been just running back and forth to mark uh, if I need to get out of the rain or anything uh, where are those at? Uh, boom, there we go, beautiful. Yeah, if we get the stasis chamber up, that'd be fantastic. That's the first goal. And then I'll show you what blocks I'm using for the, uh, the base itself. We've got actually, uh, three different blocks we're using, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's grab this guy right here. It sounds like it's gonna storm again. Uh, that's one thing we've got no shortage of, and that is storms. Huh, it loves to do that. You guys are doing great, I'm doing fantastic. It's actually a Saturday night. I've recorded... This is the second episode in a row now that I'm recording. <laughs> I just uh, can't seem to get enough of this right now. I'm just having such a great time with it. Let's get that... Are we getting closer with it? Uh, let's give us a little bit of space. Mechanical parts. Oh, boy. I, I guess maybe I should pull Mark down here so he's a little bit closer. It's all right. We're good. We're good. I like Mark parked up here in the trees. It makes him look really cool. He's just chilling. Uh, tell me I've got some. I have to have some of those, right? Oh my gosh, do I not have any? Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, I did not scroll. Oh, we got some bio in there too. Let me scroll down far enough there. Let's grab that. And there we go. Okay, that's enough to power the generator so we can get our bed the stasis chamber going all right. Maybe we get a few more pieces of roofing over the top of this, too. The roofing is a tricky, tricky thing to do. Uh, when you get your corner piece on where you want it, now you're going to notice that I've got a little bit of extra uh, space around here. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of first before I start talking about that. I want to be able to jump in here if I need to. Uh, we're going to go to C, power, down to the switch. There we go. Oh, uh, no. I, I don't want to sleep just yet, thank you. We've got food and water, so I'm not worried about that. I just want to make sure we have a stasis chamber to be able to sleep in. The roofing is a difficult thing to get started. If you it, it, if you just have your corner piece on and you try to put the roof on... Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's go... Uh, I forget it does this every time. Every single time I forget this. There we go. It is a it is a tricky thing to do, and once you get the one in, it, it all lines up pretty pretty smooth. Uh, let's go right there. What I do, what I've found is the easiest thing to do, let's go ahead and land here real quick, and I'll turn my light on so you guys can see better, is I get this corner piece put in where I want it, and then I put the side wall here and a side wall over on this side. That gives it three connection spots to go on. Otherwise, you sit here and... I wonder if I could show this to you over here. I bet I could. I gotta go up. Hit you. There we go. Now we're floating. Now if I try to do this over here, it's really difficult because you've got to hit a point. Now you see it wants to go way out there. And it could be a real struggle to get this to go right in that corner and just pop into where it needs to be. I don't think that's even in the right spot right there. Let's take a look and see. Now see it's hanging off the back side there. So it's just no good. It's just, it's really a tricky thing to do. So let's go back down here and let's grab, um, uh, let's grab the windows. We'll grab the windowed walls here. If you do this right here, let's see if this works better. And then come in here. Uh, 
See, it just, it, it, it really just likes to just roll around up here. So what I do is I've been taking and putting, uh, let's just use a number eight. I'll put a number eight like right here because that's going to stretch out past this block right here. So I'll just put one of these guys right here. Like so. Grab a number one. Now it's got a few more places that it can snap to. Got to go up a little bit higher. It's still it's still extremely tricky because you want it right here. But it doesn't want to go there. Up a little bit higher. Oh, boop, boop. we had it. We had it. But once you get one of them in place... Oh, jeez. There we go, just like that. Then the rest of them seem to fall into place much easier. So now, once you get that first one in and you check to make sure it's doing all right, um, I don't think that's even right. That's not correct. That's not correct. That's what I mean. That first one is really a tricky thing to do. Uh, back to number one. Oh, there it was. around and take a look at it you can see it's on the corners just where it needs to be we go back to T and now it's now it's sitting exactly where it needs to be so it should come back down and you can take this guy right out of here like so and he's good to go but it is it is a tricky thing to do so I hope that helps if anyone's having you know struggling with that building part now why would you go that way <laughs> why would you do that there you go you silly block get over there and then you got to be really careful when you're placing these. Oh my gosh. It's just, just so bizarre. Like so. And it wants to... Sometimes it just wants to spin it around to a different direction. There is some structural integrity in the game. Like if I take the walls down and these are just sitting in the air with the thing underneath them, they will fall down. Is that correct? I wonder if we're gonna line up over here okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Good deal. The reason I asked that is because we're not exactly um, all the way out to the edge here. I came in just a little bit. I gotta show you all the different blocks I've used in here too. It's really, uh, these, these floating blocks for building on water, we're a little bit out into the lake right now and we're gonna be out in the lake even more uh, by the time we get done with it, I just wanted to get some kind of a little, uh, kind of a little house going here, someplace, kind of a workshop, I guess, a workshop. But we're gonna have windows all the way around, and some of these walls actually have lights in them. Like this one right here has a light in it, so I want to use that too. Let's go ahead and uh, actually set that up. Let's go see. Uh, we need to come down here, and there we go. So if we take the light, if we take our light off, right click, turn all that stuff off, you can see we've got a little bit of a light in here. We may need more than those, or we could take, well, it's only, I guess it's three wide, so we could put a bigger, larger light in here and uh, have more light in this place. And we'll, we'll switch over to a nuclear generator eventually, but let's get a few more of these ceilings taken care of. So we've got some place to get out from the storm, if it does, and it always rains in the morning. Uh, like once or twice, it seems like. Oh, multi-tool battery is, is out. We've got a few batteries left. We're good to go. No big deal. I'm really having a great time with this game, if you couldn't tell. I <laughs> just... It, uh... I, I like... You know what? After building the one flying vehicle that we have right now... I actually enjoy the roving vehicles even more. Uh, I, I, there's just something about being on the ground that's just very convenient when you're having to go get a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? Let's let's take a let's take a sleep and see if this will give us the eight hours we need. Space bar, you yes. Are well rested. Oh, Janet, I love you. You're just always so positive. See what I mean? Wake up to a rainstorm. But fortunately, we're inside, so we don't have to worry about it. Her telling us that we're going to have any issues. So let's grab a little bit of water. Hydration secured. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and eat some food, too. Why the heck not? We're full. We're full of everything right now. So let's get back to building a little bit. The 
It's so easy. Once you get that piece of roof put in, it is just so smooth, like butter. We don't really have any creatures near us here, which is also very nice. I'm not ever always looking around to see if something's coming after me. So that's always, that's pretty cool. And then, you know what, I can go... Oh, let's go down here and go see. Let's grab this and let's run this over to here. There we go, we got a light there. And, oh, we got a light here too. There we go. Turn this off. How does it light this up? That's uh, not su Oh, I got one more over here. There we go. That actually lights this up really, really well, doesn't it? Very nice. Very, very nice. So what if we do right here, since this is going to be kind of the entranceway right here. Oh, the storm. It's a stormy, stormy night. Let's go, let's go back to build. What is this one here? Reinforced wall with door. We don't need this anymore. We get that out of here. Reinforced wall. There's a reinforced wall with a light. There it is, right there. Bingo. We had to take it out of here. We get the red crisis chamber. We get that out of here too. Here we go, number six. Oh boy. <laughs> you son of a gun. What the heck? There we go. We're going to do a light there. And a light on this side. And then we're going to put the door right smack dab in the middle there. Awesome. All right, beautiful. Let's go over here. Let's hit C. We're going to grab our power. We're going to power the light. We're going to power the door. And we're going to power the light. And the ladies and gentlemen... We are safe and sound. Now, how much power are we draining on this guy right now? We have 17 hours on this right now with what we're running currently. That's not too bad. Look at all the light in here, too. Now, if I want to, I think I can come up here and just go like that. Yeah, E. Just hit E. And I can turn them on and off. That is just... That is sweet. That is just sweet. Look at us. We're inside our little cubby on the lake. Now, when the rain stops and the sun comes up, I want to come back and I want to show you guys the blocks that I used out in the water and how they work. They're fantastic. Which, by the way, that brings up the fact that we need a we need a 3D printer. That's the medium one. Is there a large printer? If I type in printer like this, medium, I'm thinking there's probably a large one, right? That's the water pump. Compact med bay, compact armory. Maybe there isn't a, a, a larger one. Doesn't look like it. Maybe just the medium 3D printer is what we need. We need this because I've got parts that I need to make and I can't make them right now. So let's go ahead and set this guy up. We want those ports showing. There's, there's a port on the back side of this here. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Let's make him and put him together. He's a priority. And then let's go back to build. And let's get this stuff out of here. And let's grab our small containers. There's a larger container in here. This it, and he it, it's it's huge. Let me show this to you as well. Number four. It is massive. And it's got a lot of ports on it. So eventually we're gonna get to that, but right now I think we're fine with just the uh, small one. Uh I need to go back to build. And number four number one there we go and we want this guy to spin up and then turn it this way and now he's gonna hook up right to that port let's do four of these and then what we'll do is we're gonna clean out mark plating ah uh, so let's get some power going to this guy there we go and let's go to E, and what do we need for the plating? We just need, I think it's just, uh, yeah, iron and carbon. And we've got a bunch of that going on right now. So I think what I can do is take some of this. Let's throw these parts in here. I've got our herbs and stuff as well. Let's go eat that. Let's just eat that. There we go. Let's go out to Mark and uh, see about some parts off of him. 
get some stuff. Some of the ores that he's got tucked away on him. Isn't it cool I'm sitting back here in the trees? I love it. I think it's so awesome. Let's grab some iron. We'll grab some carbon. Some silicon. Uh, let's grab some... Uh, do I not have any more silver? No, I've got to have silver. Maybe it's in a maybe it's in the the lower. The, I, I thought I was looking in the lower crates, but maybe not. Ooh, I may have used it all. Fifteen silver is all I have left. Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go hunting for some silver. There it is. Look at that. That looks pretty awesome, huh? We'll have to get some lights on the outside. Also, um, um, well, let's, let's, we'll talk about building the outside area in just a little bit here. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Actually, I could put it all... Well, these aren't, these aren't made yet, so let's do this. Let's get, uh, let's get 50 of those guys going right now. There we go. Beautiful. All right, sweet. Home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. I love the fact that I could just hit E and turn that stuff off. Same thing with the vehicle on the uh, switches. The switches, you can just turn them off by hitting E, which is just fantastic. Uh, let's get... Uh, we got a few plates in us right now. Let's do that. I need one more. There we go. Awesome. Now what I could do is I could just dump everything in here. And we'll throw those in. Uh, well, let's uh, let's go to this last compartment here. We'll throw that in there. There we go. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna wait for the sun to get up nice and high, uh, so I could show you uh, the floating blocks and stuff like that. I'll be right back. These are the floating blocks. They've got like these large um, air-filled uh, pontoons on them. They're pretty cool, uh, but unfortunately. Don't know. Yeah, see, I've only got one reinforced frame. Now, this is where we're getting into a point where now uh, there's only certain things I can do. And um, let me show you why we can't build those anymore. Uh, we need a key ingredient of that, and we don't have any of it. And that is... Let's see. If we go here, you can see it's cobalt. We need cobalt for that. Uh, here's another thing we haven't found yet is xanite. We don't have any of that. We've got a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver... Uh, what's another thing that we don't have right now that we're going to have to find? Xanite, cobalt. So cobalt is another one that we have to have. This guy here, uh, aluminum. Oh, I should be able to make this. I should be able to make these. I have aluminum. Somewhere I have aluminum. I found a node. I just broke it up. Aluminum. I know I had aluminum. You know what? I think it's I think it's out here in Mark. Let's go see. I, I need to just unload Mark. There's titanium. There's aluminum right there. Got a little bit of it. Okay, cool. We can make a few. And I've got some uranium, but not a whole lot of it yet. I just don't know how much it takes to to uh, to, to, to we're gonna wind up using. I turned the power off to the lights too, just so we'd have more uh, light or more energy going out to Mark, so we can use him to go out and find uh, more material. Okay, so I've got that going right there, so I should be able to make these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh very cool. Aluminum. All right, so let's do... Um, let's do 50 of those. And then this guy right here we need two, but this guy... This is the plating for that structural piece, right? I, I, I believe that's what it is. No, we need this guy right here, but I believe he's cobalt as well. Yeah, he's cobalt... And biomass. Biomass, not a problem to get a hold of. It's that cobalt. That's our key. We need the cobalt in order to move forward with some of this stuff. Now, we can we can put the platforms down, but we have to... Uh, well, this is almost done with these. I'm going to get a few of those, and I'm going to show them to you. I also want to look at the stairs, too. Is this a bad storm, or is this just a, a small storm? It's just a small one. Let's go number five. I want to try these stairs out. Some people say that the stairs don't work very well. What's wrong with the stairs? 
Okay, so we've got one. We've got one set of stairs here. Can we put another one right here? If we wanted to? Doesn't like that. So what would I need? Like a like a, a maybe a frame here, like that, in order to do this, and then I could put another staircase up. Let's see what. Let's see. I just I'm just messing around with these right now. I just want to see how this goes. Yeah, the snap points on these are a little bit odd. Like, I would like it to be a little further back than that, but it's not going to do that. So, yeah, the stairs, uh, this is just this what I've done so far here. It's a little unusual. Then if I took, uh, let's go back to build real quick. If I were to take, that's the base foundation. This is a ceiling panel. If I took this guy right here, put him right there. He won't snap on to anything below it. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure we're gonna have to figure this out. That's okay. No big deal. I can figure that out. I love building and figuring stuff like this out. So we'll uh, we'll work on that and get it figured out. We'll get those out of here and let's go see if we've got some of our uh, plates made. I get stuck on the door every now and again. There we go. We got three of them. Let's take a little bit of time to make, don't they? How long does it take to make one of those? Uh, 15 seconds. Wow. So we're going to need uh, a couple of these guys side by side, working together, most definitely. And then, of course, we got to run our uh, our conduit as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to show you one of these floating things. These They're really cool. They're very, very cool. I love these. Like so. I mean, look at those little pontoons on there in the water. I think that's awesome. I thought maybe what we could do is some kind of a garden area over here. Something. As usual, I would like to go a little bit bigger with the base just to see what we can get away with. And then what I used after that is I put this guy on here. This guy's got some small legs that stand down a little bit further than the rest of the stuff. But they're shorter, which I, I thought was kind of unusual, but... That's what they are. They're shorter. So you can see it kind of stretches down a little bit. And I could probably go back. I wonder if I could actually get a number three to go in here instead of that. Number three. These guys could be a little tricky. Oh, he will go there. Yeah, okay, he'll go there. That's awesome. I'm not quite sure how I want Mark to park here. But we're going to figure something out. we got to figure something out for him. Because he's going to park somewhere and have his own his own garage, basically. So if we do that there, we could do that. And we could put another floater. A floater. <laughs> a floater. Put a float one there. And then uh, I would probably want to go one more there. And another one right here. I love the idea of us being... I need some more frames for that. Oh, he's not, this one's not even in the right spot yet. So I think maybe the best, well, I can't do it from this side. It won't go in this way. Well, maybe it will. Oh, there it goes. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I need, I need more of those. Okay. And then this little guy, this number two, he just kind of, you could snap him right in here, like so. And he's got just enough of a stretch to get him down into the ground so he looks solid. Then we could build a bigger platform out here. We could probably get a, a garden bed or something going like that too. Uh, by the way, I checked the auto miner back at the original base and it was actually working uh, in getting ores. There was 20 plus iron in it and uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It wasn't like a ton of stuff, but it's definitely one of those things you put down and walk away from and just kind of forget about it. And then you come back to it later. Uh, let's let's do this here. And one right here. There we go. What does this look like all fused in? Is it touching the ground? It's floating as well. 
Maybe I'm not using that right. Maybe I'm not using him right. Oh, I see. You see what I did back here was I've got the floating guy, and then I've got one of the small blocks here, and then I've got the full foundations over here. Uh, because sometimes the full foundations don't want to go in unless you dig up the ground. And I don't want to... I wish they would go in and sit sit down on the ground and let you put it down as far as you can go. Um, it would be nice to be able to do that. Maybe I can get it to go in now that I've got this going here. Oh. There it is. There it is. Just like that. Yeah, we need more parts. And we don't have the composite parts to be able to build the floating platform part of this yet. But what we can come back and do is we can take a four, which is a ramp. Uh, I need you to go down all the way. Down you go. You're not going to do that, are you? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, man. Yeah, it's... it's it's a little finicky. I've, I've got to get a feel for it. I feel like it needs uh, more of a solid snap points uh, for stuff. Because, I mean, you can see it, it wants to go in there. Now, it's wants, now it wants to be backwards. It just, it just flipped its own rotation on its own. Or what we can do is we could do another number one, maybe. Oh, that was tilting upwards with the uh, landscape there. Yeah, see, we can't get down into the ground. And if you dig up the ground, what I've noticed is that it takes out so much. That's the one thing that was nice about um, Imperion Galactic was that you really had some leeway with what you were doing. Uh, that did not go down the ground all the way. You know, that just didn't go down all the way. So, anyways, I'm just kind of fooling around with the different building mechanics, trying to get the, trying to get the feel for them. There we go. We've got another 11 of those guys right there. We're probably nearly out of aluminum. We didn't have a whole lot uh, to go with to begin with. Um, so there's that. Uh, what do we need for an auto miner? Let's go to uh, let's go to build. That's enough of the building stuff. We've done quite a bit of that. We're good to go there. We're going to, of course, come back and play with it some more because I want to really get an idea for how that works. Here's the large greenhouse. Uh, that's going to take these electronic parts, and I believe I need uh, that number, the, 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 the two pieces there. That, that's, that's this guy right here. And yeah, he needs silver. We've got a little bit of silver, but not a lot. So, I'd rather hold off on doing that until we absolutely can afford to do it. How's this guy charging up? 88%. Okay, it's going to take him a little while to charge up. He needs his own charger. Right now he's working off the base. And I did put an extra row of uh, containers up here on him uh, just to get our stuff over here. Let's get that out of there. Kind of some general maintenance stuff going on today because we've got so much uh, going on right now with the move and everything. It's awesome. Just love it. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, B auto miner. Uh, let's delete that. M-I-N. There we go. There's our miner. Ooh, two and three. Oh, boy. I can't make any of that stuff. We, we, we need the cobalt. We need cobalt. Uh, we're really kind of stuck until we get cobalt going. Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that takes cobalt. This we can do. We've got the silver for that. We can do that. But, um, here's a quantum electronics part. It takes... <gasps> Oops, excuse me. Xanite and silver and gold. So that's no good. Uh, so we might as well drop these parts off. We can't do any more building right now because we're just we're just kind of out of uh, out of luck right now. We need that uh, that cobalt. Uh, I believe it just said, "Yeah, radio. I'm uh, I ran out of materials. Yeah, it ran out. It had 17 to go, and it ran out." So that means we're out of aluminum as well. Uh, wow, so we need a bunch of different stuff. And this guy is still charging. He's only at 88%. Uh, what I could do is get him his own bio generator and get that going. Let's do, let's do that. Let's get, uh, let's get Mark his own charging station going. Maybe what I should do is we should try out that uranium. 
uh, charger. We're going to go this way. See what kind of materials we find since we just emptied out our inventory. We'll come over here and do this. Here's one of the holes in the ground that we dug last time we were out here. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, there's a little, one little piece here. There we go. We're going to head off to the west here. Ah! Oof. That felt threatened by us, I guess, huh? This is iron. This is not one of our... This is not our... Specialty ore places. Our specialty ore places are over this way. Uh, do we need to go... Let me take a look at the map real quick. Yeah, we need to be down over in here a little bit. Uh, where D is. I think that where D is, yeah. We're, I'm just going to get to know our area a little bit here. Uh, Mark actually traveled through the water a little bit getting here, but it, nothing deep. There's just some really neat little... Uh, causeways between the, the, the lakes and landscapes to get from one point to another that were pretty cool that uh, I was able to drive him over the top of. What's this over here? This is pretty much what we've been seeing already. Yeah, carbon, silicon, yeah. You guys are telling me the desert's a, a pretty good place to go? For ores? I did find silver back over here by where D is. Almost made it across. <laughs> and the cobalt is a blue stone, and this has got a very blue color to it as well, but I don't think that's what this is. Yeah, it's carbon and silicon. Great, it's going to start raining. There's an autosave. Hopefully, this is going to be one of the big storms. I mean, I can use this stuff if all I'm building is just the basic, you know, uh, platforms and stuff. But once it comes time to do the, uh, whatchamacallits, you've got to have a better, you have to have better materials. There's some cows. What I should have done is let Mark charge up and taken him out. Do a little exploring with him. We've got the flyer too. I guess I'm just not as comfortable with the flyers as I should be. It's okay, we're almost back to here. It's just a, it's just a short distance from the house. I prefer kind of exploring on foot anyways a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. Ooh. Some of them little dudes. Those little guys. So what's this over here? You can uh, die. There we go. Goodbye, bees. I believe this is carbon or silicon right there. We're going to head over by that other base that we had here for just kind of a temporary thing in the last episode. I want to see if... Oh. If that silver's right there. It was really nearby that, and that's why I built that there. It was because we were so close to the silver. Oh boy, we're going to make somebody mad. There's the white little My Little Ponies. Here we go. <laughs> this is... Uh, Danger Central right here. Cobalt. There it is. Nice. Guarded by everyone and their brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat your chest. Go for it. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. 
Okay, so we found Cobalt. These guys give up yet? How much did we get? 34. They're still coming. Man, they're relentless. Yeah, see, this area right here is like bad guy central. I think this might be silver. Uranium and titanium. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. Do I have batteries on me? I've got three more batteries, so we're good to go there. Yeah, we're definitely going to need Mark when we come in here. That way we can just run everybody down. <laughs> it's brutal, but it's true. It's going to make things, make life a lot easier. I think that's probably Cobalt right there. Let's go grab some of that. It, doesn't, it didn't seem to give me too much for these nodes, does it? What else do I get with the Cobalt? So it's got a really dark blue color to it. There we go. Oh, and aluminum. Cobalt and aluminum. Okay. Uh, that's going to be silver and silver and gold right there. Yeah, they're definitely... Look at them all, though. They, they go all the way back in here. So if we take Mark one day and just drive through here and run these guys over, maybe get rid of their nests, I don't know if that's going to have an effect on the materials or not. I'm going to run down here and grab this, this silver one real quick and see what it does. That's silver. Oh, they're on to me. <laughs> they're like, hey, there's a spaceman over there. He's stealing our stuff. Get him. <laughs> That's how they sound, by the way. It's true. I know it's true. Okay. All right. I think it's time to go uh, Time to go home. Yeah, G and C are like right on top of each other, so I can't really see the difference there. But we've got some cobalt now, which is beautiful. So this is our cobalt area for sure. What's not very far from home. Not far from home at all. Uh, these guys are going to aggro on us here pretty quick. There, there he is. Now he's, now he's screaming at us. Oh, there's no one over here in the trees. Look out, look out! Cobalt, perhaps? Run, radio! we got to get back before it gets too, too dark. I believe this is where I... No, this is not where I crossed. This is right over here is where I crossed with Mark. Right over here, I think. By the way, he was a champ. I would like to uh, give him a bit of a... We're going to be giving him a bit of a facelift, too. Uh, literally, we're going to be lifting him a little higher off the ground, so he's got a little more lift to him. Oh, boy, there's a big dude. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, geez, they're all over the place right in here. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I want nothing to do with your stupid babies. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, they're all coming. <laughs> they're all coming for me now. Turn my light on so you guys can see better. The Purple Tree Forest. I'll we'll have to come over here and get some biomass, too. Do you guys know that the trees come back? I can't tell. I've not been in an area long enough to kind of tell, because I've been a nomad, baby. I've been nomad it all over the place. We're almost home. Next time I go out, I'm taking Mark. And I do want to fool around with the uh, airships a little bit more, too, and see if we can come up with a, a better, better scheme. Better scheme of things here. There's Mark right there. I can see him in the distance. He's calling to us. I love the water. I think it's really cool. I think they did a great job with it. And sometimes the ocean, the water floor has got a bunch of plant life on it and stuff. And sometimes it doesn't. It's just really amazing. Really great artwork. They've done a great job of making this world look uh, quite unique. And we haven't even seen all the biomes yet. There's swamps, and deserts, and all kinds of cool stuff to, to go visit. But yeah, over here, we have, like, no opposition at all. How's, uh, how's Mark charging up? Oh. Eighty-four, eighty-four and 92%, so he's, he's going up. He's, he's filling up. Uh, we're gonna turn one of these, a couple of these lights back on. So we can see what we're doing since the sun is going down. There we go. It's going to make Mark's charge up slower, but we're going to get him his own generator here. I love having all this light in here. It's just fantastic. 
That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, so now we've got some cobalt. Only 63. Wow. Only 63 and 15 silver. So that is going to be... We're really going to have to go out and look for it, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's okay. No big deal. That's the whole idea, right? Our basic materials we have for building the basic uh, pieces that we need. But the silver and the cobalt, uh, iron, gold. We're going to have to be careful with that. I mean, look at that. We've, we've, we're doing pretty good. We've got some nice materials, that's for sure. Um, so I don't know if I even want to continue on with that platform or if I'm happy with the platform is. It was kind of just a nice way to show you guys what was going on here. Uh, is that we can do this. And I think what I'm going to do is probably... Once we get out over back behind the house, I want to add some over here and go out a little further. I think what we're going to do is not have this here. We'll probably come up with some sort of a walkway along the edge here that'll go back into this area where we're going to have the greenhouses and stuff over the water. And then i got to figure out where I'm going to put a garage for Mark to pull him in and have him charge. My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Oh, Janet, you silly girl. I'll be fine. Don't you worry about it, darling. Let's go back. Let's get... Um, Let's try one of these nuclear gener uranium generators. Oh, so I need those parts. Three, three, five, three, and three. Powerful generator creating electricity from enriched uranium can power only a single device at a time. Use a switchboard block to distribute energy from single uranium generator to multiple blocks. Okay. Build vision tutorial. Okay. Um, do we have what we need to make this? Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can make the parts that we need for this right here. I wouldn't mind having it, or if we already have them. Uh, we've got those. We've got that. We have some of these. We have a few of those. Um, I guess the other thing we needed was a couple of these. Right? Is that, was that what we needed? B. Uh, uranium generator. Where is it? It's odd looking. Here it is, right here. Five of them. Okay. Is it making them? There they are, right here. Okay. So we've got two. We need three more. Big storm, of course. There's no such thing. Very rarely do we see a small storm on the planet. It's a pretty hostile area, I think. You, are you working? You are. It's just going to take you a little while to get them in. All right, let's see. Can we get it at least started? Uh-huh. I hear you, Jim. I'm going inside. I need only one more. One more. I understand the conduit as well will allow me to stretch it out so that when the printer's working, I can be anywhere as long as the, the conduit's with a certain distance of me uh, to, to build with. I may be using the wrong terminology for that, but uh, I'm trying. Okay, so if I only want to use this for him, uh, I need the uranium. Let's take 90 uranium. Oh, for Pete's sake. You get I get hooked up on these corners all the time. Oh, this is not processed. This is raw energy that can be used in refine. Oh, a refinery. Oh, B. Uh, medium. Medium refinery. What's this here? Medium med bay. A medium refinery. Aha. Uh -huh. That's going to take even more parts. Uh, really, all I need for that is uh, medium refinery. Looks like we've got to make this stuff. Um, 
I'm going to need a couple of these guys. Make six of them. We do not have the cobalt for this, though. We really don't. Okay, so do I have what I need to at least get this started? Basic frames. I don't have basic frames on me, huh? Uh, let's put this over here. Plating and electronic parts. Okay. This is so fun. Uh, plating and electronic parts. And the plating is being made. Where is it going? It's going in here. There it is right here. Just throw that up in there so it comes over here. Wow, it takes a while for this stuff to make, huh? Do I have enough now? Okay, so we need to power it. Oh, I see. Enriched uranium. Oh. What does it take? Five. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Um, so let's make, uh, let's start off with 40. That takes 23 seconds per enriched uranium. Okay, wow. I thought I had some of that. I do. I have four of those. There we go. Okay. So let's go. Um, is there any way I can just detach that one thing from here? Auto save. Is there any way I could tell it not to do that? Um, if I unplug it. And then I go ahead and do this. I should be able to set that up, that up, that up. Turn it on. Oh, I gotta, I gotta plug it in here too. There we go. I can come off of that and hit this here. I've gotta run the wire back to it? I guess I do. That makes sense. Since I disconnected it, I disconnected from everything. Hmm, why won't that one go on? Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Now what I want to do is... Uh, oh, I don't have the door hooked up. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can I get this now? All right, let's go over here. Let's take this. Did all the batteries come uncharged, unplugged when I did that? No, the batteries are all still hooked up. Are they? Let's see. Oh, that's a shipping container? <laughs> okay. Oh. I gotta turn it on. There we go. Didn't have the I didn't have Mark turned on there. Oh wow, look at how fast that's gonna be. A minute and seven seconds to charge that. Oh wow, that's a way to go. That is one heck of a way to go. Mark will be charged up in no time flat with that. Oh, that's sweet. I love that. 
Okay, so now we got that going for us. Uh, we got seven more of these guys right here. Ah, come on. Well, that is... Uh, how much time do we have on that, too? Level dropping. Five hours and 29 minutes. With just the 10 in there. And how are you charged? 97%. 24 seconds, it's 100% charged. So Mark's going to be ready to go outside again anytime. What is this? Extraterrestrial power cell? What? Deuterium. Processed energy source which can be used as fuel in deuterium generators. So that's just water. Purified water turned into deuterium. Oh, that's cool. Do, why, why is this... Do I not have enough connections? Perhaps that's what it is. It doesn't tell me that I don't have enough. There's only so many connections you can make with this guy right here. And then he's like, that's it. That's all I've got. I can't, you can't connect any more things to me. What is this running? Oh, this running to the light there. Let's try that one more time. I'm willing to bet that that's what it is, is I've just got, I've got too many things plugged in over here. And it's not going to let me plug in anything else. I've used that switch up. 40 hours. We're doing fine there. And Mark, you're, you're charged, right, baby? You are charged. Okay, so I could just turn him off. Uh, turn that off. Is this still putting out power, though? No, zero fuel consumption. So we're, we're good to go. And Mark is turned off, so he's not using any power right now. So his battery should stay fully charged. And we're good to go. Oh, man, this is sweet. I love it. I love trying to f having to figure this stuff out. Did we get all of his containers? Those are empty. These guys have still got... Wow, there's, I've still got stuff in these. The top ones, though, those are empty. So I want to get rid of the top ones. Let's... uh. Let's get this stuff put away real quick. I don't know why I'm switching containers. It'll just take stuff and put it anywhere. I need to get a better system of uh, sorting our stuff out. I need to get our food processor set back up again and all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to have plenty of this in here to power Mark and charge Mark up in the future. Like that. I'd prefer him to be like that. Not have all those other shipping containers on the back. That's going to work there. And you know what else we need to make? We need to make... Um, we've got some of this. Where's the battery at? We're going to make eight batteries, so we've got ten in our inventory at all times. Mark is fully charged. We have a uranium generator out here. Oh, that's sweet. That is so cool. That is awesome. I can't wait to kind of get this stuff organized. Right now, we've just got sort of a, a little mini base going, you know. But nevertheless, here we are. We've got it. Oh, the door's not powered either. That's right. You can manually use the doors uh, so that they're, that works out okay as well. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.